Hey guys, Paul McGinnis here with some thoughts for your daily walk. And I just finished going through the Gospel of Matthew, just a chapter a day, and try to let some of that sink in and see how I can apply some of that. And so a few thoughts near the end of that chapter that are just so core to Jesus's life and to what he came to do, who he was, who he wants us to be. Somebody asks him, what, what's the greatest commandment, Jesus? Just, you know, summarize it for us. Give us, give us one handle to hold on to. And you've probably heard this. Uh, this is in Matthew 22. Jesus says, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. They'd heard that before. They knew that that was a central commandment, maybe the greatest commandment. But then Jesus, I think, surprises them and says the second is like unto it. The second is just important. The second uh, can't be ignored. He says, you must love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and all the prophets uh, de de depend on these two commandments. So that's Matthew 22, 37 through 40. And I love the fact that Jesus ties those two together. He says you can't divorce one from the other. You have to have both. You have to have love for God and love for other people. In fact, it's our love for other people. That's what's visible, right? Our, our love for God is often invisible, right? That's, that's personal. That, that may be personal. That may be private. Nobody can really gauge that. But we show our love for God by the way we treat God's people, by the way we treat all people. And Jesus circles back to the same theme in Matthew 25. And, and I, I, I you know, re reflected on Matthew 22 and then came across Matthew 25 and couldn't help but tie the two together. When Jesus is talking about final judgment and final days and he's, and he's saying things like, like this, when you, uh, where did it go? Lord, the people are asking him, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you? When did we see you thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you uh, hungry and offer you hospitality? When did we see you naked and offer you clothing? When did we see you uh, sick or in prison and come to visit you? And Jesus says, whatever you have done to others, whatever you've done to those that are suffering, whatever you've done to the poor and the oppressed, whatever you've done to the outsiders, to the people in your world, you've done the same to me. And he flips it over. He says, and if you've refused to show love, if you've refused help, if you've refused hospitality and grace and forgiveness to others, well, that, that's the same as if you had refused it to me. Jesus says those two are so connected. You can't divorce those. You can't hope to have a solid, growing, vibrant relationship with me if you're not going to love other people. That's a whole lot harder, but that's our call today, to love others. That's how we show our love for God, by loving the people around us. It's simple, but it's not easy. Love God and love others. Let's pursue that path. Let's follow Jesus down that path today.